despite all the heartfelt emotional meetup, mm-hmm. it does feel a bit glum. It's one of the glamorous episodes, I think. Yeah. yeah. Like I gloomy, mean, is it? I mean, yeah. we only have six episodes in this season. Yeah. And this is it. And you spend one whole episode just about reunions and revelations. Yeah. Welcome to the first ever Game of Thrones Kakucho Pure X Buzzpop episode where we talk about Game of Thrones Season 8, the final season. Alright, I am a talking proxy king here, Mr. Toffee, since I'm holding a sword and don't do much else like your regular kings, lah. you know, they're just puppets for the hands, right? <laughs> yes. And we've got the two kings' hands here. Uh, one is uh, Nick from Buzzpop. Hey guys. And of course, our esteemed uh, KKP guy, um, the Ken. Yeah, um. yeah. I did not forget your name. I just like I'm thinking like should I call you Ken or Ken Leandre or um, <laughs> KL? Yeah. Ken la, Ken la, Ken la, Ken, 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 Ken la. Ken la. <laughs> Hashtag Ken la. That should be a new thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. So all right, you guys and I myself have seen episode one, the very yeah. first debut episode of season eight. What do you guys think about about it? General thoughts and feelings. First things first, I love the new animatics. Mm-hmm. Wow, we finally get to go into the houses now. And, and, and as you can see, I feel it's like thematically trying to tell us where we're going in the episode. Mm-hmm. We saw last We're going year. in deep. That's how we're doing. Yeah, yeah. We saw last year, we saw Winterfell, and we saw King's Landing. That's it. We didn't see anything else. Mm-hmm. And that's to the places we covered in the episode. Yeah, uh, the kind of shows also how the progress of the Army of the Dead. Because the moment the camera pans past the wall, you get to see the ground starts to be you know, eaten by ice, turned into ice and everything. Yeah. So yeah, like what Nick said, it is... There's a lot of foreshadowing as well as some detailing here and there, right? Yeah, foreshadowing was gonna happen. I mean, in the first few seasons, they did the same, but it's on very surface level. Yeah. Because the, the locations that the camera visits, it's where the show, you know, that particular episode is gonna be at. Yeah. But I love the detail that they put into this one. When we went into the creeps of Winterfell, yeah. when we went down King's Landing. Um, yeah. And all the way, not just under King's Landing, you actually go to the crypts where they kept the skulls of the dragons. That's pretty bad. And you can even actually see the you know that scorpion, Ivan scorpion. Yeah, yeah. They actually showed where it's positioned. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. In front of the head of Balerion the Dread, so it's yeah, that's a nice touch. I'm looking forward to like the next five animatics. I'm 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 gonna make a prediction here, a bold one, where basically your animatics for the fifth and sixth episode, basically everything will be either in flames or in ice. I do exactly. yeah. It'll either be the city in ice or the city in flames. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like burn down, like broken Winterfell down. could be in ice, and then King's Landing's burning. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, wow. Oh. It would be interesting where this is just assuming, right? Yeah. On, on theory, just say between episode two and three, mm-hmm. Winterfell is under siege, so they actually show all these things at the back, you know, outside of Winterfell. It would be fucking awesome. I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And now we go from the animatics, the uh, intro, all the way to the very first few scenes of this show, where. We actually have a little throwback to the very first episode where everyone's gathering to see the king and queen popping up. In Winterfell, yeah. Yeah, and now we're on the same soil, the same icy patches of Winterfell. Mm-hmm. Now with John and Daenerys walking in as the yeah. subjects coming mm-hmm. in, you know, yep. to actually greet Sansa Stark, who is now the queen of Winterfell. Right? That was a nice mirror effect because uh, in the beginning, it was yeah. In yeah. season one, episode one, Sansa was the one scrambling trying to see like Arya, oh, Arya, Arya, Arya. 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 Yeah, the procession's coming. Now Arya's like, you know, part of it. She's part of it. Seven seasons later, she's just holding back and she's letting the keep go scramble here. Yeah. You could be next. <laughs> you could be yeah, the next assassin be waiting, next. yeah. It'll be interesting to see how um, it's always been mirror you know, the, the the theme for Game of Thrones since season one has always been about mirroring one another. Correct. Either same situation, different decisions, yeah. Um, different scenarios, different circumstances. Oh no, same place, same place, different, yeah, yeah. Yeah. different tone. Well, although, I, I did think, like that line where Sansa said the same line that Ned did to you know King Baratheon. Mm-hmm. Winterfell is yours, my queen. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's 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 a whole lot of um, recall, you know, of callback. Throwbacks, yeah. basically, throwback. a lot of throwbacks. Also, yeah, mid- throw on. Yeah, I hope this is the calm before the storm. Yeah, this would be the calm before the storm. Yeah. It's like a little bit of payoff. Yeah. So we we see payoffs where Sansa finally gets to meet up with Danny. You know, th- there was that catty line where it's like, "What do dragons eat anyway?" Yeah. What yeah. Anything they want. They want. Yeah. <laughs> like, or like that, that, that stare that, 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 that stare that Sansa gave that side glance you know when Daenerys is looking onwards it's like 
Yeah, she's someone's gonna <laughs> slap a bitch, you know. But yeah. for for people who who's pretty much Team Danny and John, right? Sansa might be their least favorite character in this episode, but. I, she's the most realistic one. Yeah, right? she's the most realistic one, and probably the smartest star. Well, not, not, she obviously, you know, that's not a big bar to go up. But <laughs> well, she, the smartest star is the one who still lives. Yeah, but then again, <laughs> yeah. she's she's got Bran, who who's actually using a cheat code. That's uh, Arya, who's a bit impulsive. Up, up, down, down for Raven code, right? Yeah, but oh, so, but Sansa is probably the smartest person. Rickon up. couldn't run. He only runs in a straight line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, John so, face off horses with one sword. So yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think yeah. it's blind luck that actually kept him alive. That's right. It, yeah, but then, coincidences. Yeah, back to Sansa. Sansa is the most realistic, most tactical, and like I said, you know. You Battle hardy in a way. I mean, yeah, not not through fight lah. She's gone through a lot of shit since yeah. season one. And yeah. she's. It's good to know that there's someone who's equivalent to Cersei when it comes to being realistic and being ruthless. And ruthless, also at the same time. But she loves her family as well. Yeah. On the the good guy side. Yeah. She always started. I mean, if you look back at season one, episode one, she was the flighty one, the one that was in love with Joffrey, the, the one that didn't want to leave King's Landing. Because she was the princess, the princess stuff, basically, yeah, right? Yeah, to the point that her father got killed because of her, right? yeah. <laughs> you know. And then she got parted off to be married to Tyrion. Tyrion, and then Tyrion, Tyrion, and then yeah. dragged through by Littlefinger yeah. through so much hell, and then yeah. the bastard. So, which I'm glad. She's grown. She's yeah, grown. she's grown yeah. to the point where you know what, Littlefinger, I know what you're doing. That's good yeah. payoff of her character development. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Season seven was the best payoff for her. You know, she deserves it. You know. It was nice to also see her meet Tyrion again. Yes. And that line she said, I used to think that you were the smartest man. Yeah. yeah. So it shows that she's... Maybe she's Tyrion's decision is being led by... Emotion, emotion. yeah. Emotion, emotion and, and family. family ties. Yeah, but then again... When he knows them well, Cersei is gonna stab him in the back anytime she wants. She's sending an army from the south up north. She's not gonna. And Tyrion's okay with that. So like, she's questioning like, how come you're okay with this shit? Yeah, and... Why would you believe it? Because they know Cersei will never do that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. Um, also, I think it shows a lot of different facets of the Stark children. Even though John is technically not a Stark, but he's more of you know what he kind of shows a Starkish behavior. Yeah. Where he looks at the bigger picture rather than those little petty squabbles. Yeah. The bigger picture being that he's willing to forsake his crown so that he can team up with Daenerys to fight off the. North. Uh, no, sorry, to fight off the White Walkers and the Night yeah. King. Which, as you can see throughout the episode, everybody in the North was pleased with that decision. Like, oh, we yeah, sent you down as a king in the North, mm. and now what are you even? Re- remember that? Little Momo, yeah. yeah. But here's the thing, since we're talking about little lady Liana Momo, right? Liana, yes, that's her the name. The thing is, Mormont. her uncle is there, Sir Jorah Mormont. And there's no... I was thinking like, okay, that's Sir Jorah, that's her uncle, that's, that's not even... I thought there would be a nice... Well, her uncle was thrown out of the family yeah. to, send, to be sent to Castle Black for doing some bad shit. True. But there could be some catty dialogue that goes on between the two. Maybe just a few seconds. I think we deserve that much. Yeah, I guess so. Considering the, the, the related... Probably left on the cutting floor. Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe. maybe while they're fighting episode 2. Hey, hey. That'll be a little cute. <laughs> you can just throw in a cute little scene. Maybe. Like uh, we were discussing before we went on the screen, mm. uh, there are a few scenes that we thought it could have been cut, cut short for other stuff. Oh, wow. Are you referring to the scene where Daenerys and John went on a date? Yeah. A, d- a date with dragons, a right? A date with dragons. Yeah, how to train your dragon paw. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of... The r rated version. I know, I, I know what they're trying to get, trying to show the development <laughs> of that relationship, right? But I thought maybe they kind of extended a bit too long. Yeah, it, it felt like uh, Aladdin scene where he just didn't sing the song like, I can show you... Yeah, a whole new world. Uh, just missing that one <laughs> cue, you know, like... At least you don't have, you know, like genies popping out all of a sudden, so it could be a yeah, different man. sort of myth altogether. And, and what is it with Jon Snow and waterfalls? Is that his go-to move? Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> like, Every guy has got a move. You got bacon, <laughs> you've got waterfalls, yeah, you've got cotton candy and fun fans. It was him who first, right? Yeah, he's yeah. like, okay, hey, check out the waterfall. Yeah, check out the <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And what was that line they mentioned? You wrote it down? Somewhere? Oh my god, yeah, yeah. Let me, let, that was the cheesiest line. It's cold up here for a southern girl. And then she answers, 
So keep your queen warm. Like, oh, ooh. Yeah. Like, I, I, I can hear like the 90s, uh, you know, the calling card, like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like from Full House or something, yeah. 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 It felt like fan track. fiction, man. <laughs> <You> know, <it's laughs> like, who, who wrote this? Read it? It's like, there we went, you know, it's like... Oh, well, I, I think they, they got to balance it. If it's a good episode, it's like, it can't be too good. We're gonna give you some... <laughs> we can't be too some, serious. Some cheesiness. Yeah. 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 Some <laughs> cheesiness. I mean, they, they did serve some bad puns for Cersei as well. Yeah. I've actually really wanted her elephants after some sexy time with Bro- yeah. uh, with uh, Euron. Euron she was still yeah. thinking about elephants. Like That's the first thing she said, right? Yeah, he's like, what do you think? He's like, oh, I want an elephant. <laughs> and before that, like, uh, what was that line she said? Um, if you Ooh. want a whore, pay for it. If you want a queen, earn for it. Yeah. Earn it, earn, earn it. it. But then she did stop and then look like, hey, you want some sexy time? Like, she, you should have just ended the line, yeah. walk out the room, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> but I think they're trying to establish as well that um, maybe... she wants some sexy time. Yeah. I'd rather that sexy time gets paid off in the second episode, you know, like, well, after Euron actually tries some more moves and talking. Yeah, 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 that would be nicer, right? Yeah. That's logic, but people might think maybe she just wants that, right? But <laughs> after he left, she said, I want time for myself. And then you see her reaction. So it shows that she's willing to sacrifice a lot. She was crying, right? She was, she was crying. looking at her belly. Yes. Yeah. After he said, I'm gonna put a kid in that. <laughs> but yeah. didn't Jamie already. Like, she's currently with. She's pregnant right now, right? I don't know. I, I think mean, pregnant women can still have sex, but was carefully. She, was she lying? <laughs> yeah. Was she lying to Jamie? To we keep Jamie know. around? Yeah, yeah, so maybe. But the thing is, maybe. She, that, that reaction, right? That, that last scene before it was cut off, it does appear that she's willing to sacrifice anything just to get people on her side. But the fact that she's actually paying Bron to kill her siblings, that's kind of cool. That was... Uh, actually... That whatever it takes, lah. I was like, know. yes, exposition is back! Wait a minute, no sex position. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I was like, he was just about to get started. They, they were already talking. But so, so is she like gonna sleep with people who look similar to her brother in some sense? <laughs> yeah. But then Not yeah. just the golden locks, maybe just the chin or you know, yeah. the eyes. Speaking of which, right, I mean the, the fact that Kaibun was standing while Bron was getting some, was like, that's kind of off, man. <laughs> I mean, he could have like knocked on the door. He was just standing there. Like, oh, I got, I got a. Well, what's hey, some people like watching. I, I, I got There's a few way fetishes. Lots of gold for you outside there if you do this. I didn't like that line though. It's like, oh, uh, the one about the girl in the box and how she only has one more year to go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. which one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, which one? Like, that's the only thing he cares about. Yeah. Which one? Yeah. Like... But yeah, it's a good. Like, like we were saying just now, this episode is a throwback to whatever's done before. Yeah. Bringing back Joffrey's crossbow. That is. Whoa. That, that's cool. I mean, that crossbow killed Targaryens before. And and it, not it killed Tywin. I like how Lannister. the thunder and lightning just came in when they said Joffrey's crossbow. Yeah, <laughs> just this nice little. Like, nice it Lannisters effect. before. Recording so. in Malaysia. Where everywhere it's just tropical, um, you know, weather all day. Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, I think it's a good thing. But do you think Bron is gonna pull off that bounty? I, okay, we've always seen throughout think, all seven seasons, right? Yep. Bron always goes for the money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whoever pays him more, mm-hmm. he'll just follow. Yeah. They will double what Cersei will pay, maybe. Yeah. Alright, that would be interesting. Maybe he got that Daenerys money going on, be, you know. If he doubles that, so maybe Bron is gonna be the one who takes out Cersei. That might be uh, a bit poetic. So no, that'll be interesting. I would, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't complain if that happened. But you know, mm-hmm. Golden Company. We finally get to see the Golden Company. Oh, I mean the giant oh, ship yeah. and everything with the yeah. banner. And when Euron actually had that talk with uh, with his sister Yara uh, Greyjoy. Niece. niece, sorry, niece. Yeah. My God, I'm getting all my trees mixed up. <laughs> Thank God I have you guys here to set the record straight. Yeah. But the, my problem is, I thought Golden Company is going to be much larger. So only 20,000 men, 2,000 horses. And no elephants. And no elephants. They didn't explain why, you know, the elephants could get seasick. And I'm even like, with that, the Golden Company cannot go, you know, it will definitely be trampled by the Unsullied and the Dothra. I mean, what, what's what's her plan? Is she, she's already sending some Lannisters up north, No, she's right? not. She's just going to, she's going to fortify. Because so is the Golden Company gonna? They're gonna, they're gonna fortify. They're gonna, the Golden Company. What I understand, uh-huh. it's once the Northern Trent is settled, once the the Northern Army are weak after fighting the dead, then they will then march. They'll go in and march. Oh. So that's why she wanted the Golden Company. But I read somewhere, the Navy said hundred thousand. Ansali. Dothraki. Dothraki. Twenty thousand Ansali. So. The Golden Company is still not strong enough to actually take over them, which I'm kind of like, okay, that's a very bad military decision. Well, they are gonna do it post, you know, 
the White Walkers. After the White Walkers story is done, went through yeah. everything. So I guess the numbers will be whittled down. Hopefully, it will be fun. But I, I'm still of the idea we're gonna have two big battles in season. So are you telling me Jamie went up north with nobody alone? I I remember at the end of episode seven, it was him alone riding up north. Yes, yes. Mm. So what shoot, was Sansa shoot. all worried about? Saying that, oh, she, I don't think he's worried. I mean, Tyrion, she's cautious, cautious. Tyrion is just telling her, oh, yeah, we still have like armies going to help us. But she said, no, you won't get those armies. Oh, so she's saying like, Tyrion, you're a dumbass for even believing, for believing in, in the first place. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's why okay. she said, uh, knowing Cersei, Cersei will just lie. I think Tyrion is just acting out of his behest that, you know, family members gotta worry about that. But you know Cersei's not gonna think that way, love. Tyrion, Tyrion got emotional, I think. That yeah. He wants to believe. He's a smart guy, yes. yes. I mean, he's a smart guy, but he's an emotional guy too. He reminds me of like season one, episode one, when they were having breakfast. Mm. It was Tyrion, it was Jamie, and it was Cersei. It was uh, kids. Yeah, I remember that. And then, so he wants that back. I think he wants that back. And um, yeah. and there was like, oh yeah, that time was a different actor for Tom and Matt. Mm. Different story. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I think Tyrion also showed his weakness and I... I don't know, I, I thought that we would see a lot of more presence. Yeah. And an interesting bit, they're, they're already thinking of merging the houses. You mentioned um, the Onion Knight, Varys and Tyrion. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, a proposal is what I'm proposing. Correct. Which is like quite obvious. But, and then it leads to dragon rides and dragons. <laughs> Yeah. Because they were looking at Danny and yeah, uh, John. Again, which I think it's a waste. I mean, we only have 50 minutes. Yeah. And you waste. That's probably minutes. that's probably the excess money they have for the CGI. So oh, we gotta have to fill a quota, you know. Like we only saw episode. one like night. Uh, that uh, what you call it? White Walker. White Walker in this episode, which is what is it? Oh, <laughs> little 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 Umber boy. Little Umber boy. Yeah, I guess we're gonna jump to that where basically the Night King actually sent a warning to anyone to approach the army or fight fight back. So who would come? Who actually appears then? Uh, the Night Watch, right? The Night Watch. The Night Watch and the Expendables. And the Expendables, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Consisting of the former wild, the wildlings, yeah. yeah. Coming across a really crazy looking uh, artsy display of torsos and tendrils surrounding the Umbra boy. I'm sorry who scream like a little? Who scream really scarily? You know, Actually, after getting set on fire. House yeah. Umber is wiped out. That's yeah, it. House yeah. Umber is yeah, wiped yes, out. It's just the yeah. only Umber boy left. So he had one scene in this season. How many scenes did he have? In one, the I guess, when he was pardoned by John. <laughs> so, That's it. <laughs> two scenes. You're dead, boy. You know, yeah. like, well, Cash in that check. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I think it's uh, it's it kind of shows the. the political conflict that's happening around because that boy was supposed to come back immediately right yeah maybe that shows how near the night walk uh, the night king is yes how yeah. crafty they are or how artsy they are too in a sense mm-hmm. that's a really that was... well looking nice looking decoration actually <laughs> for a bunch of shambling yeah. of mutilated you know, yeah, yeah. parts of humans keep that symmetrical damn it <laughs> <laughs> okay imagine night king speaking like uh, one of those uh, those fabulous um, okay. what's that? Uh, yeah, left a bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like the queer eye for a straight guy, you know, the whole yeah. decoration thing going on. The thigh should be inside. <laughs> yeah, it should be inside. Yes. Make it flow. Yes. Make it flow. <laughs> it's it's like it sets the fire in a very, you know, very nice way. You My know? only wonder is if he actually uh, drafted it on the wall first. Oh before my sticking God. things. So the arms go uh, here. This arm's too long. Yeah. Do you have another arm? Yeah, he's got, he's got soldiers doing that. Last, we need so. children's fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Can you find any children's fingers? Chop, chop, come on. We're not getting any younger or older or deader by any chance. That would be fun. But I, I, another thing is what uh, Sansa brought up. Logistic issues, right? Oh, yeah. How the hell did they fit that many people up? Yeah, especially, I'm, yeah. What do dragons eat anyway? It's like, it's whatever like, it's like we saw camps outside of the yeah. walls of Winterfell, but how the hell do you, do you actually sustain this army? Which is again, they're probably fighting on an empty stomach. Well, you know, probably half of them are gonna fight on an empty stomach later on. Good. Yeah, that means to means a lot of bickering and people making irrational decisions, which could actually play a part in the later episodes. And you see, the the direct, the, the producers, directors are already nerfing the dragons because they say they aren't eating. So, so they're gonna be fighting at uh, half. You know, yes, state. half strength because half like, strength. You know, the dragons are like at the end of the day. Drogon is the biggest dragon and he, he, he would cream the other ice dragon, let's be honest, right? Okay, okay. So they probably need to nerf the Nerys' dragon. It's like he's not fully... Yeah, not, not fully, this one, I mean they did injure him a few times, so Correct. they just want to make it a more fair fight. I mean the great train attack mm. last season was 
That was one of my favorite episodes. Uh, right? Yeah, I think. I, th- I think it's gonna. Yeah, everything was all. Yeah, everything was in fire. It's the loveliest kind of fire. It's gonna be difficult to top that. Well, this time around, they have an ice dragon. Yeah. So it's gonna be double the fire. You know, fire and ice. It's yeah. gonna be like. You're gonna have dog fight. You're gonna have dog fight. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fun. And and now that we have John on a dragon. It's like that's that's yeah that's gonna be like X wings against Tie Fighters. We're not talking about the Daenerys, talking about actual dragons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna have you're gonna have Danny on Drogon and then John on Rhaegar. Yeah, against Viserya with the Night King. Yes. Well, speaking yes. of the Night King, how would the battle go? Because I think that Arya came up with that spear with that special weapon, mm-hmm. uh, which becomes a two-handed thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like a Naginata or something, you know, like a double sword cool. thing. Yeah. yeah. No, it's double ended. So it's reach and you can also do hand to hand, right? Yeah, akimbo. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you have uh, dragon glass at one end, you have Valyrian at one end. I liked a little bit where uh, John and uh, Arya were comparing swords earlier on. I mean, this is a little small but touchy scene, out, you know. Check it out, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it like... How many have you killed? I and mean, have you used it? And then about the needle? Yeah. Uh, once or twice. Once or yeah. twice. It's like, oh, it's such a big liar. Yeah, though. yeah. Uh, or, or how about that bit with um, the kid who was trying to reforge the Valyrian steel? Gendry? Gendry, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. 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 You guys yeah, like that scene, nice. right? Yeah, so, yeah. I think it's a good, um, again, like, it's a reunion thing and it's a three way reunion because the hound, you can Oh, see. yeah, the hound was there as yeah. well. Yeah. And then no she, words. Yeah, she yeah. butted in, yeah. yeah. And then you can see that he's, in a way, he's very proud of her. You must be a very cold heart bitch to survive till now. So yeah. it's like he's, he's proud of her. But he, well, the thing is, Arya left him half dead. Dead, <laughs> yes. Yeah, 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 for yeah. all the shit he put it and through. And him while at it. It was like, okay. Kinda good. So you can see that emotion like joy, anger, and then joy again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, speaking of Bran, Bran is this is an episode where he stares at people. Oh yeah yeah. He always creeps up, stares at people, it's, talks to Sam especially. We also gotta bring up Sam as well. I felt in, in season one, episode one, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Mm. But in this episode, he's at the right place at the right time. That's because he's got a cheat code. Saying the yeah. right things. He knows how to ninja this time. Yeah. First with Sam and you know to actually poke him to actually talk to his friend Jon Snow to bring up the revelation he's that so creepy, he's related. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, it is. But it's appropriate in a sense because he's that's how the three eye raven powers work. So yeah. is he like a like a you know a god in the machine now? Is he is he like that? His job is just to poke people into the right places. He's basically plugged in the matrix, so yeah. he knows what you know. He needs to keep the the wheel going, mm-hmm. which is funny though. You know, then he wants to break the wheel. Bran makes sure that everything has to be moving. Yeah, kind of interesting. That reveal to John was. I don't know, I, I wish it was Bran who told John. Well, yeah, that's the thing, they only hugged. They didn't really have like a scene, they didn't have a talkie talkie scene. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, like the fact that Sam told John and then knowing his lineage, basically. Lineage is something that was been built up what, since episode 4, 5, since last season. Yeah, yeah, and then now that it's come full circle, now John knows. Mm. I mean, now he's not so sure whether Daenerys will actually give back her throne or give back. Give back whatever that she that, that he really questions. Mm. Yes, he was asking the right questions. Yeah, and everything points at Danny not being the yeah. leader. Yeah, like you were saying, there's you know, Game of Thrones have always been about yeah. mirrors, mirrors and duality. You know, yeah. d- different characters in similar situations making opposite decisions. Yeah, so and this season, in that same place of power, right? Yeah, and so in this season, yeah. And every time it's always John who's doing the right decision. Position. He always has, but um, it might cost him basically. Well, it cost him a lot, but yeah. it, you know, him and Theon, he did the, you know, he did the the, the, the high ground. Him and Ramsay, Ramsay, again, yeah. and now him and Danny. So again, it's a song of ice and fire, opposites. Sure. And um, at the moment, John is probably the better Targaryen to run this, and Danny seems crazy for power. Because I mean, he, she didn't fuck up with Bentos and Marine and <laughs> you know, she, like, yeah, she, she's just so. You know, another thing I realized, I I, I I just thought of that. John has always been the first one to let go of his title and role. Yeah, right. Yeah, he know? did it with a nice watch, and he did, yeah, he did it. So I want to take care of it, but so, um, Danny is always. I'm the queen. I'm your queen. I'm your queen. So she's very much on that position, right? So it shows again, even without force feeding you, hard selling, mm-hmm. there is a mirror there. Yeah. So um, they might come at longer hits sometime in this season. And the funny thing is, he doesn't want it. He doesn't want to be king of the seven he, kingdoms. He doesn't. No, it's like he's not searching for it, and it's coming to him. Mm-hmm. Then he's going for it when she's not the one who is in line for it. So it's gonna be interesting how they go. So, I mean, like she's so in love with him now, <laughs> but what 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 happens when she knows? Yeah. Yeah. 
So I mean, that, that that's another. We still have five episodes to go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Predictions? Uh, predictions. I just want to see Brienne talk more in the next episode. She had no and, line this episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I also want to see the payoff between uh, Bran and Jamie Lannister because they had that really Final epic stare scene. down at the end. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. I, I A lot of emotion, basically. Putting the JoJo song is perfect, there, So. I want to see what uh, I hope it carries on yeah. directly from that scene in season uh, in episode two. That would be fun. Yeah. I hope there's no. I hope there's no time. Maybe the Raven Brand. powers can give Bran the power to walk a bit and then throw a chuck, uh, Jamie off a cliff or something. It's my turn to push you down. Like push you down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no hard feelings, just like last time. <laughs> Although, imagine Bran telling everyone that it was Jamie who pushed him. There's no payoff for that. It's like, no, because everyone was like, why, why, why is Jamie here? Why, why are you here? And Jamie was like, oh, I'm here to fight for you. And, and then, then what? They're gonna put him into like jail for that? Yeah. Imagine Bran saying, the last time you were here, why should we trust you? The last time oh, you were here, oh, yeah. now that, that's the thing. People are Tyrion. The North never forgets. Basically. North never forgets. North remembers. Tyrion More remembers, yes. will be fighting to save his brother. Well, well, like you said, uh, John only cares about the end result, mm. and John's the first to forgive. So John might just say to Bran, like, "Hey, we need every sword we need right now. You know, we can worry about that once after, we kill the night king. If we survive, yeah, yeah. true, true, true. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think I think in episode that, that's that's gonna be conflict. Yeah. And right now, it's just gonna be setting up, bringing everyone in the same place. Episode two is probably gonna show the conflict. Please be Helm's Deep. Please be as awesome as Helm's Deep. Uh, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, you want your fight scene, basically. I want my, yeah, like as awesome as Heart Home, way better than Battle of Blackwater. Maybe on par with like Battle, Battle of the Battle Bastards. Bastards. Yeah. But now with you know White Walkers, maybe, maybe. Yeah. You're on your final season, so they should be upping the stakes higher and higher and higher, yeah, yeah. knocking those pegs. We have a budget for ten episodes condensed into six. So just yeah. go with it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow our minds, blow our minds, HBO. Looking forward to. It? Mm-hmm. And I think with that we can end our episode. We got our predictions, we did our recap, talked about spoilers, how we felt, mm-hmm. and um, yeah. Uh, so in case you want to follow us and check out this episode, you can check us out. Check his episode out on buzzpop.tv and you can also check us out on thekkp.com. Check, you know, because we're going to have this video on both sides as well. Yeah. And with that, we look forward to the next episode next week. And same time, same place, same channel. That's it. All right. This is Mr. Toffee signing out. See you guys. Bum 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 b